hanging around with me. It's a Mastercraft Canadian Tire brand up here in Canada. And the problem that we had with it was, and I actually tried to use it on the big trip up north, this won't bend tight enough to get in past the spoke of the wheel. So it Hey YouTube, Jarvis Biker here again. So we're going to do a little review today. Um, I went out and bought another air compressor for the Goldwing. The reason being is that the one that I had that I'd been carrying all these months on the, in the saddlebag, it ended up that it actually wouldn't work on the Goldwing wheels with the, uh, with the air valve system that I had installed in the rims on my Goldwing. This is the unit that I was carrying around with me. It's a Mastercraft Canadian Tire brand up here in Canada. And the problem that we had with it was, and I actually tried to use it on the big trip up north, this won't bend tight enough to get in past the spoke of the wheel. Uh, the reason being was the German uh, TPMS system that I have installed in the GPS system needs uh, a straight metal valve. It can't be a rubberized valve, which is what was on the Goldwing. So I stripped those out the last tire change and I put those in and was able to use my TPMS system on my GPS. It worked good. So I've gone out and I've purchased another one, another air compressor. I got it from Fort 9, uh, which is like Revzilla for the States. It's just the Canadian version of it, I guess. I bought this Bike Master mini air compressor. It's got a 15 inch hose has a different air chuck on it than this the other one did. It's got a five foot cord and it also has uh, connectors to connect it to straight to a battery terminal like little battery clamps. So it comes in this box and we'll get this out here. It comes in a nice little carry pack. So that's good, that can fit right in. It's way smaller. The dimensions are five and a quarter inch long by four and three quarter wide and two and a quarter deep. It says it's got 13 inch long alligator clips and cigarette lighter plug leads. So it all comes in this package. So let's have a look inside here and see what we see. So there's the alligator clips and it's got like a battery tender type two two prong trailer plug basically is what it is so that's good if you happen to not have the plug on your bike and you need to hook to something else maybe help somebody out on the road that's a good good thing to have so here's the air line and that runs like that but it's got this type so you just have to go in and lock that down. So we'll try that on the Goldwing once we get this out and get looking at things. There we go. So it's another little plug. So you can use whichever end you want with the 12 volt or the alligator plugs. So we get down into here. So you could run this right off your battery tender plug, which is probably what I'll do when we go outside here to test it. We won't need to go through the cigarette lighter. We can go directly right on to the battery tender, uh, straight to the battery with a fused line on it. So I've upped the fuse on the um, battery tender line because the um, heated suit kicked the kicked the fuse out on the princess the other the last time we were out together, and uh, so I had to give her my line, which had the hot wired fuse in it. The other one had the battery charger fuse in it, which was way lower. So it's got the heavier fuse in it now, so it'll probably run it. So. We're going to go out to the Goldwing. Uh, we'll see if it fits in around the spoke. 
and it's accessible enough that we can actually pump up a tire with it. We'll see what it looks like. So we'll be back. The lighting's not too good and we had to use the back wheel because it's the one that interferes. So we take off the TPMS cap from the uh, Garmin system and All right, now if we plug that in. There we go. Fifty pounds. You can see. So let's see now if we can get that off without losing all our air. Yeah, that's perfect. Now we'll just double check on our pressure. Right, let's try this. Yeah. Yeah, showing almost 50 pounds. Gauge might be off a little bit just from the vibration. But in a pinch out on the side of the road, if you put 40 pounds in, I'd say you're right around 40 pounds, which would be good. We can let a little out now. And we'll leave it at that. So there we go. That's the Bike Master air compressor. It says Bike Master since 1983. Uh, seems like a good rig. It didn't really seem to be working that hard to pump up that 50 pounds. Probably around 35 PSI in that tire. It's been sitting for, you know, a month and a half without being ridden and uh, they do drop after a while. So I would say, you know, in that short amount of time that it was running, probably two or three minutes, it, it pumped up that 15 PSI to get it up to 50 and then we let it back down to about 40. So I would say, uh, you know, in a pinch, even if you could get 20 or 30 psi in a tire, it'll get you. It'll get you down the road to get to a bigger compressor and get it pumped up or get it to a tire repair shop. So, I'd say this is a pretty good deal, and it's way smaller. If you look at the two side by side or in front of each other, dramatic size difference as far as for storage inside the gold wing it's uh, taking up virtually nothing even compared to the other one i will give the other compressor i will give it kudos for having a flashlight built in help out with some repairs the gauge was actually in a lousy spot compared to where this one is so i'm uh, little bit easier to read on this one when you're laying down there under it but it's the back wheel on the gold wing where that spoke and that hole for the tire valve are very very close that's the one that gave us grief and uh, I wasn't able to uh, add air with this other air compressor it would have been okay if it was a front tire, I would have never noticed it, but because it was the rear one, it's it's a little bit harder to get to, and, and I found that uh, it wasn't a big help. So this one can go in the Concorde, in the luggage on the Concorde, and uh, be in there for emergency use. So it's not that it's gonna go unused, and uh, all in all, easy to use, very handy with this, battery tender plug you don't even have to find a cigarette lighter or anything and it was that port for the for the princess is 
heated suit comes out right above where that tire valve is. So very convenient. Don't need a lot of cable to get it done, but yet we still have the other additives here of the different ones that could help you out on another vehicle. Bike Master, mini air compressor. Uh, part number was 150928. Uh, it says its maximum air pressure is 150 psi, which is extraordinary for a little diaphragm compressor like that. That's 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 awesome. If you want to get one, just to have for emergency situations, I got mine from Fortnite.ca a couple of days to get it on the bus but then once it's on the bus it gets to me pretty quick and it's you know another province away so usually pretty pleased once it hits the truck I'm happy so so anyway this is uh, Jarvis Biker signing off uh, bike master uh, mini air compressor review hope you got something out of it and it's, it seems like it's a pretty good unit gets a five out of five for me for sure especially on the size that's that's really that's helpful when you're packing for a big trip you don't want to be lugging even this one I thought was tiny but this is way better so Jarvis Biker saying uh, stay safe stay healthy and we'll catch you on the next one be one coming up right away anyway Jarvis Biker out bye